What's up guys? Martin here. Hola que nidos. Nikki here. And today... <laughs> Sorry, let's play. And love. today we are doing the husband tag. Which is just questions about us and we're gonna answer to see how good we remember things about being together. I'm fucked. Uh, I at least remember the dates. Do you want to do the first? Sure. So you guys get to know us. You guys get to know us with questions. Okay, that's how we do it. How and where did we meet? We met on Plenty of Fish. That's where we met. Yeah. How did we meet? He sent me a message. He sent me the message first and he was just like, hey, you're really handsome. Mm. And that's all he said. That's what sparked it. That's all he said. That's why he got me this ring. What was your first impression of me, Nikki? And be honest, this is, this is raw footage, okay? Not that raw, hopefully. I don't want to be naked on camera. <laughs> well, my first impression when I saw him, he was wearing his skinny jeans and he had his black vest on because he always liked to wear his black vest back then. This is true. Uh, my first impression was, holy shit, this guy's really handsome. Put the cat down before she enters you. He's really handsome, like he was so funny and he was like laughing and then he did that tongue thing that he does that you see, like where he's like, like that. Yeah, he <laughs> did that. The only thing I can say is this man really knows how to put on cologne or perfume, whatever the hell he puts on. It's cologne. Yeah, but you know how to spray that sucker like you're a tank. <laughs> I like to smell good. I'm sorry, there's like... Okay, maybe I was a little bit over like excited, okay. like okay, what if, he, what if he doesn't smell it, so let me do one more time. Or something like that. So I, I was nervous, of course. I'm just saying. My first impressions of Nikki uh. was his hair. He had some luscious locks, I kid you not. But okay. I, I liked his, he was really easy to talk to. Like, because when we met for the first time, it was kind of like... The first time we say, okay, hi, I'm jumping in the car. Like, it was really like, it wasn't like we went to go to a coffee shop or talk. Or, no, it was just like, hi, I hop in the car. <laughs> but it was good. Because uh, he, he's coming over to my house to spend the night for the week. Yeah. You met my family, like, the very, like, the first time we met was the first time he met my family <laughs> as well. Yeah, so uh, he was sweet, easy to talk to, loved his hair. And his eyes. Oh my god, his eyes. I do have pretty eyes. He does have pretty eyes, guys. Oh Can my you gosh. see them? Can you see them? <coughs> Next! Oh, let me lift my fat. <laughs> Next question. When did you meet my family? Wow. He met mine that way. Like, oh yeah. the very first day. And I was so scared. Here's the thing. I went over there thinking everybody knew I was going to be going to spend the night. His dad didn't know I was spending the night. He. That scared the shit out of me. I'm like... Really? Okay, how this Everything random guy that his son's dating, uh, he's spending the night. So, uh, that was interesting and that was terrifying at the same time. But his mom, I really, I, got, I got good vibes with everybody, even his dad. Well, well he went over my sister's because he brought in his PlayStation. And we were all like GameCube kids. Like, the highest level of thing that we had was my Xbox. Other than that, it was like GameCube and then eventually we got a Wii. So he brought in the PlayStation and he involved everybody and we played like Mortal Kombat and then uh, what? Uh, 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 Marvel uh, versus Capcom. Yes. But here's which, the thing. Yeah, it was good. and But I didn't want to just like say, okay, I'm only here to see Nikki because when I met Nikki and I wanted to have a relationship with him, I wanted everything. I wanted him, I wanted to be a part of his family, and I wanted them to feel comfortable with me. So when I told Emily, or his sister, and, and cousins to come in and play with us, they were kind of like blown away a little bit. They're like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I hit it off with the family right away. I love them it so was, much. It was really funny to me, because in Mortal Kombat, he could always beat me. Always. Yep. But... I could always beat my cousin and my little sister, but somehow they always managed to whoop his ass. Every, I could beat them on Mortal Kombat. Every single time. No, every single time you guys played, you would win one game out of the three. I let them win. Liar. And Just then, like you let me win at Marvel vs. Capcom. Mm -hmm. I was a beast at that one. And so how did you feel meeting 
my mom it's the first time. I was scared. <laughs> Cause she's silent. Like she was My mom's quiet. She's she a quiet like, type. She was just watching and I was like, I don't know what to say to her right now. Like I don't, like, uh, I don't know what to do. She's quiet. You guys already know Mama Mona. Mona is quiet. And she doesn't even like to be on camera. She doesn't like to do anything like that. But she doesn't she's not a people she's friendly, but she's not a people person. Like she won't go up to someone and conversate with them. Like you really have to like sit there and like ask her questions. Come on, so beggar. he was scared and I was pretty nervous with his dad. So it's funny like how that happened Where was our first kiss and how was it? Our first kiss Was you getting into the car? Yes, and how was it? Exciting I was so excited I'm like oh my god Because we had been talking for a long time. It was it was pretty exciting. We were talking for a long time and and Like I said when I seen your picture, I was like man I want those lips. I got those lips. You are such a pervert. How did you know I was the one? Mmm. Or do I, you even know I'm the one still? At first, I didn't. Oh, hell no. At first, I was like, this guy I really want to get to know. But it was like the more and more that we were getting closer and like you were hanging out with my family and everything that we were doing, I sort of realized I was like, I can be with this guy. Like, uh, I, like I can, I can be with him for the rest of my life. That's sweet. And that. Love you. I love you too. Really? How did I know Nikki was one? Um, I always knew, and I know that's really cliche or something to say, but I had a feeling from like the start, like I was gonna put everything into this relationship, and I wanted him to, I wanted to be with him more than anything. So that's how it was, and that's what I got. You also got a foot in your ass. How long have we been together, relationship and marriage? Me first? Or, you know what? I want to see if you know. Go. We've Go been ahead. together a long time. We've been married a year. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We've been together for like four years, right? I don't know. Have we? I think five in April. We've been together a long freaking time. I'm not good with numbers. What is it? Come on. Okay. We got together April 20th of 2012. Damn. Yeah, I remember. Damn. We started talking in December, but in April was when he actually asked me out. Okay. Then we got married October 19th last year. Yeah. So how many... What is that? So right now... Let's see... I don't, I don't know. It is going to be four years and seven months. Uh, yeah? Four years and seven months of us dating. <laughs> oh. And then it is a year and two, no, a year and a month that we've been married. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. How do you resolve problems? Well, I This is a tricky them. one. I resolve them by wanting to talk about the situation. I'm like, you give me a little space real quick, like five minutes so I can calmly collect my thoughts and we can go at this. Me, on the other hand, I don't like to talk. No. No, you don't. It's like, I don't want to say something I'm going to regret. And I don't, the only way I know how to, I know that's not right, but the only way I know how to just save myself is just shut down. So I've been working on it. We don't argue a lot, so well, I'm happy that we don't have to go through this a lot. You don't really shut down. You I just, ignore. I ignore. Well, yeah, because I don't want to say anything. So how do we uh, resolve problems? We don't. We don't. Well, it's not bad. Not in the bad way. It's just we don't argue I, a lot. Like, so it it'll be like we'll be like mad. Like I'll be angry at him for like three days because he won't talk to me. Like he'll basically ignore me, and then it'll be like on that third night he'll cuddle me. And like start kissing the back of my neck or whatever, and I'm like, oh yeah, you're back. And then it's like the next day, I was like, I get pissed off again, cause I'm <laughs> like, I'll wake up, right, and he'll be like, I love you. Don't fucking talk to me right now, because I'm mad. Because I'm like, you just ignored me for three days, and then like crawled in and started loving on me, Oops. and now I'm like supposed <laughs> to automatically forgive yes, you. Yes, me. I don't think <laughs> so. What do you love about me? I love your faces. I make a lot of faces. He does this one face where he looks like a little baby. Like, he does this, like... What? 
he does this like pouty baby face. Like yesterday, for instance, he kept trying to. <laughs> what? He tried to put his cold feet against the back of my leg, and I hate that. And he does that face. <laughs> that face. Like, he'll try to hide it so he'll look up at me with his baby face. And I'm like, that doesn't fucking work on me. I have me. a lot of facial expressions. Yeah. He's a very facial person. One thing I love about Nikki, his sassiness. This boy has so much sass in his ass. <laughs> Why were you looking in there? I was trying to rhyme. No, but this boy has sass. He is a sassy punk. Like, what is my favorite type of sandwich? Um, you like, from Subway, that's the only one I know. Okay. Um, it's a bacon chicken ranch with, um, um, uh, sourdough bread. Uh-huh. With shredded cheese. Uh-huh. Toasted. Uh-huh. Mayonnaise, mustard, salt, vinegar. Uh-huh. And then you get a little bit of lettuce. Uh-huh. Not a lot. A little bit of lettuce. And then you get, um... Uh-huh. Avocados. Uh huh. And, um, a little bit of tomato. Uh huh. Yeah. Really? Well, you said vinegar, but you didn't say oil. So oh, that's, I, that's usually what, when people uh, say that. It's oil, vinegar, salt, yeah. pepper. Well, people, well, the oil and the vinegar are mixed together in a, in a bottle. That's why they go like this. And then they put the, I got it right though. Look at that. I can, I can order him a Subway. I know you like pastrami. I love pastrami. Is that all you know? Yep. That's. <laughs> yeah. What is my favorite food, Nikki? Mexican. Actually, no, that's no. wrong. You like sushi. Yes, I'm craving it so bad. Tell me why today at work, people awesome. had so much sushi coming through the lines. Well, oh. I think the grand opening of Hana Sushi just happened. I want sushi. Well, you can't, we're broke, so. Put your tongue back in your mouth. Your favorite food, um. Uh huh. What, Athena? This cat is like an attention. Come here. Um, your favorite food? I don't know. Cause you're, I, I don't know your favorite food to be honest. Because when he, whenever I, like I'm cooking or I ask him like, what does he want to eat or what is he craving? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just really don't know. Do you have a specific plate? Because I don't think Nikki does. Um. Cause you've never said straight up like, this is my favorite food. Like you've never done that. Uh. -uh. I have a favorite plate. Chinese food. You like Chinese food, but I don't know if that's even considered like your favorite. I mean, it's food. See, that's that's what I'm saying. He doesn't, he don't, he don't care. What is something I do that you wish I wouldn't? I have a list. Do you? Yeah. What is it? I only have a couple. Okay. But for real. Number one. Go for it. Laziness. I, I wish he would like, actually do more, like I, I did. did. So that's one thing. Did you not even see me? I cleaned. No. Yes. The but when was the last time? You, okay. Anyway, we're not gonna go through and this because you're gonna. So um. What about me? Huh. I don't like the way you back talk. <laughs> <laughs> if I could eat every, if I can eat one thing every day, what would it be? Hot Cheetos with lime. Yeah. For you, I would say. Pretzels. I do enjoy pretzels. He like I hate pretzels. He likes pretzels. You guys, I don't understand why you guys all like pretzels. If you guys like them, you guys are weird. Sorry. Whoa. Who is my best friend? Taylor. How do you know this? Because you always say it. <laughs> Your best friend would probably be Ange. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. I hate my like, knees touched. I really do hate my knees touched. Don't touch my knees. I, I can't stand it. I don't know if that's a weird thing. What do you guys think? Is that weird? I honestly don't like my knees touched. It's weird. It's the same thing as an elbow, though. No. Why do you like your elbow touched but not your it, knee? It just doesn't bother me. What is my favorite restaurant, babe? Do I even have one? Uh, it's that one off of Broadway, the sushi restaurant. That Miso. You yeah. Um, yeah, I like sushi, but I'm talking about like 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 bigger chains. Oh, all like chain Garden. one. Yeah. I love Olive Garden. Not gonna deny that shit. You, um, Wendy's. I love. He loves Wendy's. I, love I don't like Wendy's. Wendy's. I don't think. I think they're overpriced, and I think it's like their food's bland. Overpriced. Land. Yeah, for uh, like a baconator, it's like eight ninety nine or something for just a sandwich alone. I'm sorry, four dollars for nuggets, fries. The four for four meal. Yeah. 
We're yeah. not sponsoring Wendy's. We hate I'm you, Wendy's. Just saying. We're not sponsoring. We hate you. We hate you. Send me free food. Don't send Nikki free food, Wendy's. Love. Love. Don't love. send him no gift cards now. Don't I be sending those gift cards. Chocolate Frosties are the best. <laughs> but, okay. Chocolate Frosties are super, super delicious when you eat them with the salty McDonald's french fries because they're just the You're salty fusing meat. Wendy's and McDonald's together. The we don't like you either, McDonald's. Okay. Kiss our asses, so McDonald's. Like, literally, Kiss our ass, McDonald's. Shh, I am talking. I love from Olive Garden, I love their calamari and I love their, um, I forgot what it's called. It's, it's a soup. soup. It's a spicy kale sausage like soup. A... Zupaka or soup sapaka. I love that. He could spend his whole time reading and I'm, he'd be fine. I would. Don't put him, don't put him into like a bookstore or anything. Oh my God. I love bookstore shopping. I love bookstore shopping. The last time we went, I like, <laughs> This is our thing, okay? This is our thing. He likes going to the expensive clothes short stores and he'll drop like $200 on like a pair of pants and a t-shirt. Don't even lie, okay? This isn't happening right now. I'll turn this, this off. This is true. Like he'll go to a store and he'll spend what? like 200 bucks. Like over exaggerating. He, no, okay. no, 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 no. There is no over exaggeration. Okay, fine. Okay, you know what? Fine. You get one because pants this fool will go two to shirt. This fool will go to that a bookstore. Shh. I am talking. I will explain what I shop. He will literally go, drop two hundred bucks for like a pair of pants and two shirts. You take me to a bookstore, and I can guarantee you for two hundred bucks, I can get me like ten different books, and I have. So I guess he's gonna be doing his book of the month, or book of the week. Who was the one to say I love you first and where? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't know. You were. Of course. You were the first one to say I love you. I'm a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you know I'm getting you back though, right? That's a romantic! A piece of this shit went in my butt crack! I'm not even gonna lie, I'm a clenched. That's a romantic firework club! <laughs> Mona started a prank war and she's gonna get one back, so thanks Mona. My butthole clenched right there. Thanks, mom. And <laughs> I scared the shit out of me. Okay, so I oh, said it first because I'm a hopeless it. romantic. And um the last question that we are going to answer is what is your most repeated phrase or sentence? I know his. I'm gonna stick my foot up your ass. <laughs> That's his most repeated phrase. <laughs> Let's face it, that's true. How often do you do that? <laughs> My mom is still laughing. We're gonna her. get we're gonna get a shirt just that. <laughs> yeah. So look up for the look out for those shirts. I'm gonna stick my foot up your ass. Those are coming soon, you guys. Alright you guys, this was the husband tag and Nikki is starting his book of the week, hopefully if he sticks with it. He's gonna show you a book, tell you a little bit about it, and stop it! He'll tell you a little bit about it. Mom, don't do that no more. Man, you know how to drool like nothing. All right, he's gonna start his book of the week. He's gonna explain a little bit about it and kind of like show you guys, you guys probably check it out, okay? So what's your first book of the week? What's your first book of the week? My first book of the week is Mark. By PC Cast and Kirsten Craft. So what this one is about is like modern day vampires with magic. It's really good. Okay, so basically this book is this girl gets smart, she goes to the school for vampires kind of thing, and through like the goddess, I guess, she gets these gifts that help save the world in a way. But each book goes like longer and there's like 12 books in this series so good check it I'm out i'm just saying check it out check it out it gets way better like at first you're just kind of like wait what am i reading right now but then it gets to this part and then you're hooked it's really good awesome so check that book out you guys um all right guys that's gonna be it for today 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, favorite, share with friends and family for more content. And until next time, you guys, bye. Peace. You can't peace out when I bide. <laughs> bye.